Hi guys, my name is Megan from the blog WilsonHomsa.com and today I wanted to do a cloth diaper stash video for you guys. I have two kids under two years old and I cloth diaper both of them, so I have quite a large stash of cloth diapers. I have enough diapers for each child that I can do every other day with each child's diapers, so I'll do Sophia's one day, then Demi's the next day, then Sophia's the next day. So I'm doing diapers every day, so it's really important for me to have a big enough stash that I don't have to do two loads of diapers a day because I don't think I could keep up with that. So I exclusively cloth diaper them. They haven't had a disposable diaper on since they were newborns. And I also only use cloth wipes too, so I'll show you my cloth wipe stash as well. I'm going to have to break this up into two days of filming because right now I have just stripped all of my daughter's diapers. They were getting a little weird smelling, so I stripped them all. So I have them pretty much all of them clean at the same time, which is kind of a rare thing, but because both of them have been using Demi's diapers. <laughs> Pretty much all of his diapers are dirty, so maybe tomorrow or the next day when I get his diapers clean, I will film his stash and then it'll all be in one video, but for today I am just going to show you her diapers. So let's get right into this. So I'm just sitting here on the floor in our bedroom so that I can have everything e easily accessible. So here's my stack of pocket diapers and covers. So I have kind of a combination of Alba Baby pocket diapers, Nora's Nursery pocket diapers, I have some Thirsties covers, and then I also have a few Happy Blue covers. So I have four main brands. I think I have a few random ones scattered in there, but those are like my four main ones. So first let's go over the brands and prints that I have in pocket diapers. I actually have four pocket diapers that are dirty, so I don't have those here to show you, but I do have four extra ones. At the end of this, I will count up all of everything I have total to show you what you might need for if you're trying to figure out what you need for one child. So here's my stack of Alba Baby pocket diapers. I didn't even realize this, but I have mostly Alba Baby diapers for Sophia. I thought I had more Nora's Nursery. So it was kind of interesting to see this myself because I wasn't really paying attention to which ones they had. This one's my favorite. I love these bumblebees. Bumblebee prints are my favorite anyway, but there's just something about this one that I really like. And then now these are the Nora's Nursery ones. Pink ones, most of these came in sets. You can buy them in sets of seven on Amazon. And another Bumblebee one, which this is probably my favorite of the Nora's Nursery ones. And then I have a few random ones, as I said. This one is a Besto Baby brand, which is just very similar to the Nora's Nursery and Owl Baby. I almost can't even really tell a difference in the quality. And then I have a Baby Gold pocket as well. And again, this one is just very, very similar to all the other pocket diapers that I have. And then I have one Kawaii Green Baby. So this one is probably our least favorite. We use it the least. It kind of gets thrown to the bottom of the pile so it doesn't even get used every time. I do like the brand and what they stand for, and I think if I had some newer ones, I would like them better, but this old one, I'm not a huge fan of. So I have 21 pocket diapers for Sophia. And I use pocket diapers for daytime, and then I will use the covers for nighttime. So that's why I have so many pocket diapers. She goes through, obviously, more diapers in the daytime. At night, she just uses one. Here are my Happy Flute covers. I actually have two other ones that are dirty right now. I think there's a deer print and a, another fox print that's a little different than this one, and that are dirty. But this one's just arrows, and this one's like wildlife animals and trees and stuff. So I really like these. Even though they're they're really, really quite affordable on Amazon, they're only a few bucks for one cover, so it's just really affordable, and they're actually pretty high quality for how inexpensive they are, which I really like. And then I have three Thirsties covers, and these are size two covers, so they do nine to 36 months, or about 18 to 40 pounds. And these are actually probably my least favorite of all of my diapers. I just don't like how they fit, and I did get them used, so it could be because they're used that maybe they're just more worn out. I would like to try some new thirsty diapers before I like give an actual review of them, but these are quite old, and the elastic isn't... I mean, it's still there, but it's going out. So, just because they're old, they're my least favorite, so when we run out of the Happy Flute covers, I'll use these for nighttime. It is just a night nice to have some extra ones, I don't use them all that often, but it's nice to have them there when I do need them. So I have seven covers total, and that's just fine because I only use them for a night, so I don't really need all that much. I actually don't even need seven. I really, I probably only need two because I wash her diapers every other day, so as long as I get the covers in there with the other washing stuff, then that would be 
plenty. So seven is a little bit much, but again, it's nice to have some extra covers just in case I don't do laundry in time and I run out of my pockets, then I will use the covers for the daytime. But let's go over all of the pre-folds and inserts and liners that I have. The original ones that I started out with are all these microfiber that actually came with a lot of my pocket diapers. So there's some that came with the Norris Nursery, there's some that came with the Alba Baby, and then there's some that are just love my brand that I bought separately before I knew very much about cloth diapers. If I could do it again, I wouldn't get any microfiber if I could help it, but I do use them because that's what I have and I'm actually a little bit low on stuff to pa pack in the pocket diapers, so I definitely use all these. I have 14 of these microfibers and then I have these other microfiber ones that are just a different texture. Here's the ones that I originally got and here's these ones. They're just like more of a rough texture and they also don't seem to absorb very well or at least not as well as the other microfibers that are a little bit more soft and smooth. I did just strip them and they seem to absorb a little bit better, but they're definitely my least favorite. I have 10 of these and even though I don't love them, I still do use them because I, again, I said I am low on this stuff. So I will pair this with a pre-fold and then it just gives the pre-fold a little bit extra oomph so it helps it last a little bit longer. So I definitely do use all the microfibers. I have 10 of these charcoal inserts. Three of them have the ruffling on the sides like that, which I actually would prefer just these straight ones. I, I like these better. These are advertised as cotton, but actually just inside this black um, fleece is a microfiber insert. So these are pretty much just microfiber inserts. And then here are my hemp inserts, which I love. I love hemp inserts. Now if I could switch out all of my microfiber inserts with hemp inserts, I would be so happy. <laughs> so I have three of these Thirsty's brand ones that are probably my favorite of the hemp inserts. And then these are the happy endings ones. I have five of these, so I have eight hemp inserts total. Okay, now let's move on to my pre-folds. I have to say, out of all of the inserts or any of this stuff, pre-folds are my favorite thing to use. So here are my oh so cozy pre-folds. They are size one, so they go from seven to 15 pounds, but my daughter's 24 pounds and she still uses them all the time. So I will just fold this, fold this up and then pair it with a microfiber and that will last her for a couple hours. But four of these and then I have these other pre-folds that have a green edge, but they don't have a tag. So I don't know what brand they are, but they look to be about the same size as these, maybe just slightly bigger. So these are probably my favorite ones. I found these at a consignment sale, so I have no idea what brand or anything about them, so I, I can't even really buy more of the same ones, but these are my favorite ones out of all of the pre-folds. And then here I have a stack of kind of random pre-folds that I was using actually as rags before I started cloth diapering. And then as I've switched to cloth diapering too and realized that I'm not I don't have enough of all of this stuff, I actually switched these back to actually using for flat diapers. So I have some that actually look like kind of like a muslin material. So I have five of those lighter ones. And then I have some of these other ones that look like, they look like cotton material. They do have some rips, but they still definitely work. They're a bit longer than any of my other ones. They're, see, they're quite a bit longer. They're probably the next size up. So I do have to fold over the top to get them to fit in the diaper. In total, I have 15 pre-folds for Sophia and Really, I mean, if I could switch out all of my microfiber stuff with pre-folds or hemp, I would totally do that. Like, if, if I had to build my stash all the way over again from scratch, I would do only pre-folds. Even though they might be more expensive, it is so worth it. Now, I've just rounded up all the totals of everything, and I have 28 of either pockets or covers. They're just whatever you put on the outside that has snaps. So I have 28 of those total, and then I have 57 total of liners, pre-folds, hemp, my fiber, all of that other stuff, I have 57. That's a lot. But really, like, if I'm doing just microfiber, I have to use three microfibers to keep my daughter's diapers from leaking. If I'm using a pre-fold, I have to use a pre-fold and a microfiber, or I'll even use a hemp and two microfibers. Like, so I do have to use a lot of them to keep her from leaking out. And now that she is about 22 months, she is 
pee a lot heavier. So now I will film Bimmy's stash whenever I get them all clean. The next day. Okay, it is the next day and I have washed all of Bimmy's pot diapers. Most all of them. I have a few that are dirty, but I wrote them down on my phone so that I know which ones are dirty. Here is my stack of Nora's Nursery pocket diapers for him as well. I started out with like three or so sets of Nora's Nursery diapers and then I kind of divided up between the both of them. I have 11 of these and then I have his Alba Baby pocket diapers and I have six of these. Two of them are dirty so I guess I have eight total of the Alba Baby pocket diapers. And here we have some Mama Koala ones. I don't have any of these for Sophia. They do run a little bit small in size. They're technically like a one size just like my other pocket diapers but they run a little bit smaller. So I did really especially like these for kind of like the transition period between newborn cloth diapers and more of the regular sized ones like Nora's Nursery that are kind of, they say they're like one size fits all, but they do not fit newborns. But there's kind of like an in-between period where they don't, they're a little too big for the newborn ones, but they're not big enough for the Norris Nursery or Alba Baby that the Mama Koala fit really well. So I have six total. There's only four right here, two are dirty, but I love these prints. This is like my favorite set of their prints ever. They're just super cute. So at this point, I still use, still use the Mama Koala. They do go up to quite a big size. But like on, here's an Alba Baby, and I have this adjusted all the way up on these rise snaps. You can see there's three buttons here, and I have it adjusted all the way to the tightest one. But on the Mama Cola ones, I have it adjusted in the middle. So they are a little bit smaller, but I absolutely love the Mama Cola ones. And then I have some covers. I use Sophia's covers for nighttime, but I actually don't enjoy covers for Dimmy's nighttime diapers quite yet. I probably will once he's older and peeing more. But I just use these kind of throughout the day and I, I'll use pocket diapers for at night. Generally, I do like pocket diapers better, but I do also like having some covers on hand just for doing something different. So I have two Happy Flute covers. That's the same brand as a lot of Sophia's covers. That I, I just really enjoy these. I have a Buttons cover, which I actually, this is probably my least favorite diaper of all of his, just because it doesn't fit kind of universal inserts or prefolds. It's got kind of a strange shape to it, but I think if I actually got the buttons inserts that are made for this diaper, I would probably love it. But I, I also don't like diapers that you have to get only one kind of insert for. I like more of diapers that, like these Happy Flute diapers, you could put pretty much any insert. You would just have to fold it differently. But like, I think just because of how narrow it is at the legs and it's just, it's just kind of an odd shape. I only use this one when I run out of all my other ones. And then I have some Rumparoos covers. I have two of these, the other one's dirty, but I got these at a consignment sale so they were used. But I do really like the Rumparoos brand in covers. I have some of these in the newborn size and they're probably my favorite newborn diapers. And I think these are also my favorite of the covers in the size he's in right now too. And then I have a Bambino cover as well. This is the Bambino Mio cover. So I actually just won this in a giveaway on Instagram, so I haven't actually tried this out yet. So I'm really excited to be trying it out. But it is pretty similar to a lot of my other covers, except that it is Velcro. And I haven't used Velcro before, so I'm really excited to try that. Isn't this print just the cutest? All these little hummingbirds. <laughs> so those are all of his covers. There are six total. So now let's move on to all of his prefolds and inserts and stuff. Here are the stack of inserts that came with the Mama Koala diapers. They're quite a bit longer than like the Nora's Nursery or Alba Baby ones, but they also have these snaps. So you can, like, this is the snap, this is the adjustment that I have him on now, just because of how big he is. But if he was a lot smaller, like for more newborn, you can snap it down to two snaps. I like that these are adjustable. These, I, for microfiber, these are probably my favorite microfiber just because they do adjust. They're a little bit bigger. I like that you can fold this down and I, I put this in the front of his diaper because He's a boy, so he is more of a front wetter. So there's six of these, just to go with the six of the Mama Koala pockets that I have. And here's my stack of charcoal inserts for him. I have five for him. Well, actually six, because I do have one dirty. So I have six of the charcoal inserts for him. And then here's my stack of prefolds. I probably have more prefolds for him than for Sophia. But again, I just love prefolds. Like, just my favorite thing ever. So here's my stack of the smallest prefolds that I have. These are the Oh So Cozy brand. Just, again, I got them from Amazon. They are the small size, so they fit six to 14 pounds. So technically, these are a little small for him, but I always pair it with some other like liner or insert 
and then it, it works plenty well. So I just really enjoy having some extra ones, even though they're a little small, they definitely wouldn't work by themselves, but I pair stuff anyway, so it works out really well. So I have six of these. Here's the next size up of the Oh So Cozy pre-folds. These are some of the ones that I have for Sophia as well. So I have four right here, but I also have three dirty, so I have seven of these total. And then here is one of my largest pre-folds, and this is the one that I got from Bambino with that cover that I won in a giveaway on Instagram. So I haven't tried this one either, but just because of how big it is, I'll probably have to fold it down a little bit. But it is 100% cotton and I love my cotton pre-folds, so I am really excited to have another pre-fold. Here are some plain cotton pre-folds. They look to be about the same size as my size one oh so cozy, maybe just slightly bigger, but they also haven't been used very much, so they will shrink down, so they probably like will be the same size as those size one oh so cozy pre-folds. But my friend gave them to me. She was in cloth diaper and I needed a lot more of these. So she just gave them to me and I am so excited to have some more. I've only had them for like a week or two. So I, we have been using them so much. So I definitely needed them. So there's five here, but one dirty. So I have six of these. And then here we have kind of a random assortment of pre-folds. Again, these are actually kind of the same thing as Sophia's random pre-folds. They used to be rags. So these ones are really similar. They are quite thin. So I'll usually pair them with more of a thick pre-fold and that works just fine, but it just gives it a little extra oomph that it needs. So I I do use these a lot. I have another one that's just like these that is more of a light pink. So I have three of these total. And then I have one that's just a plain white one that's a little bit bigger than my size one oh so cozy pre-folds. But the middle is quite thicker, but the, the edges are really, really thin. So it definitely doesn't absorb as much as my newer ones, but it is really nice. Here we have another stack of microfiber. This is kind of just my regular microfiber that's just like the Alba Baby, the Nora's Nursery, the stuff that I have in Sophia's stash as well. So I have 20 of these total. And then I also have a stack of flats for him. And again, these are from my linen closet. I was using these as more as like cheesecloth things that I use in the kitchen. I was like straining lard through them and stuff, all the stuff that I use a lot of cheesecloth in the kitchen but I have plenty of it in the closet. And these are actually what people use as pre-folds. So I thought I would just take these from the linen closet and use it for diapers until at least one of the children is out of diapers and then I can put it back in my linen closet. But, so I have kind of some like random things that I'm using for their diapers, but you know, you just kind of got to do what works. That's one thing I really love about cloth diapering is you can really just use anything to pack in their diapers. So I have six of these and I do pair them with something else. I pair them with usually a microfiber, but I'll just fold them, fold them in half, and then I'll kind of just fold this till it fits in the diaper. So I just fold that a little bit and then I fold it in half again. So that's about the size of that I would use for his diaper. So the flats take a little bit more time, but I also like that they really just open up so they get washed better. They could dry faster. So there's pros and cons to them, but I have six of these. Okay, so I just added all up on my calculator and I have 62 of the stuff you pack inside of the diapers. So pre-folds, inserts, liners, whatever you want to call them. I have 62 of those, which seems like a lot, but I also tend to run out of things to pack in his diapers. So I really actually could use more pre-folds or something for both of the children. So I also added up how many pocket diapers and covers I have. So I have 31 of the pocket diapers or covers, and then that's 62 of the stuff to pack inside them. So that's like exactly double. That just definitely means that I use two things. I just did four, but it's two things per diaper. I'll pack like really whatever I have. It's usually like microfiber and a pre-fold, microfiber and I have so many microfibers so I will pair them with whatever other thing that I'm going to be using at that point. So that's a pretty good stash. So here's my bin that I use for cloth wipes. So I'm just going to go take you through my cloth wipe stash now as well. In the bottom of this I have some random things. I have some like, oops, some liners to put over the diapers if I want to just kind of eat more easily plop the poop into the toilet or if she, Sophia gets rashes easily so I'll put the liners on so that the diaper ash cream doesn't get on her diaper as much. I also have some extra diaper ash cream in here and some baby lotion. And I have a couple swim diapers. Oh, I guess that kind of counts as my diaper stash. I have two swim diapers. They're Baby Gold brand. And I think they're just a one size, but they fit really weird. You like put them on back 
backwards. Like all these snaps are in the back. I don't, I have only used these once and I'm not really sure what I think about them, but I do have them some diapers. And then the majority of our cloth wipes are actually just baby washcloths. So there's some sets on Amazon. They come with some towel, some of the baby hooded towels, but then there's quite a few of these washcloths. So I actually have three sets total. So I had a pink set and a blue set and more of a neutral colored set. But yeah, there's just, the majority of these are actually baby washcloths would work totally fine and they can be a lot more affordable than like actually cloth wipes that are made specifically for that. I have several different brands of actual cloth wipes. This one, These ones are the Luladu brand. They have different colors along the edge. Some of them are orange like this, some are purple. So I can kind of tell the difference between all these wipes even though they, I mean, Luke can't really tell the difference because there's only just like very slight differences. I have a bunch of buttons, flannel wipes as well. These other, the Luladu ones are flannel as well. And they, then I have a bunch of buttons ones. I also have some Thirsties and Grovia cloth wipes, but there, I find that I really enjoy the thin ones. Like these flannel ones are just one layer. They're really thin. So I don't know, it's just something about, like, I just feel like I can control them better when they're thinner. I don't, I can't even really explain it, but we don't as much enjoy the Thirsties or the Grovia ones for the babies because they're just so thick. And the Grovia ones have like two layers and one layer will like slip along the other layer so it's a little bit annoying. So I use those for other stuff so they're not really in this stash of cloth wipes. So I just counted all these wipes that I have in my bin right now and I have 49 of them. But I also have maybe like 20 of them are dirty or kind of like lost around the house because I know Sophia likes to play with them if she gets a hold of them. So I'm, I probably have like 20 or 30 extra ones that are somewhere around here. So I probably have somewhere between like 60 to 80 of the wipes. And I, so when I wipe a poopy diaper, I use two wipes. If I wipe a pee diaper, I use one wipe. So you kind of just got to see how much your baby poops and pees. And they kind of calculate it based on how many you need for that, how many of the diapers they go through. I probably have more wipes than I actually need, but it's just nice to have extra for wiping other things. But yeah, I will link all of this stuff down in the description box below. But that is all for the stash. This video is probably ridiculously long, but also a cloth diaper stash for two children is very large. So <laughs> I hope this video was helpful, maybe giving you an idea of what you need for a child or two in cloth diapers, in wipes. If you want more information on all this stuff, please let me know down in the comments below for any cloth diapering video requests. But I hope you guys are having a great day and thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.